morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Catfish Combat with Joel. So it's not a beautiful day that the Lord has made. It's a cold day the Lord has made, but still beautiful nonetheless. Um, so I'm here at the Gunnersville Dam. Um, I haven't fished here in a little bit. Uh, last time I came down here was when my motor fully broke down. That was actually where I was going to record video three. Uh, I had an internal fuel line rupture right as I got to my spot. So I had to scratch that one and uh, yeah, get my motor repaired. I ended up doing the internal fuel lines, uh, reinstall all those myself. Okay, so weather conditions for today. So we got an overcast day. Um, it's kind of cold, it's about 45. It's been in the high 30s, low 40s uh, most of the morning. Uh, we're on day two post cold front. So a couple days ago, it got real cold. Uh, some rain came through. So everything's kind of stabilized at this point. So high today is gonna be 48. Now, atmospheric pressure is pretty low. It's like 30.09, which is pretty low uh, for a day like today. Now with the cloud cover, uh, very light wind. We got a three mile an hour wind out of the east. Um, I'm anticipating that we're gonna definitely see some winter patterns here. We're, we're in late December, we're in Christmas week. Uh, so yeah, the air's getting colder, the water's getting colder. So what I'm strategizing for today, my plan going in, I'm gonna start looking for those holes, those schooled up areas of blue catfish. Uh, I think the flatheads are probably gonna go dormant pretty soon. I might get a few of those in here. We'll see, uh, but I'm primarily gonna target blue catfish and channels today and look for those big schools, okay? So I'm gonna look for areas probably about 25 to 35 feet. That's where I'm gonna start. If I don't see anything there, I'm gonna start working shallower. Now at the dam today, uh, it looks like a, a little over half the sluice gates are open, so they are pushing some water. So I don't think we're gonna have as much success closer to the dam as I would a little bit further down river. So I'm gonna look for those current breaks, those turns in the river, look for any areas where there's deep holes, on a current break where there's a little resting spot for catfish near a creek or where there's some type of food source where I know there's a lot of shad. So that's where we're gonna start today. Uh, yeah, so let's get out there and get fishing. All right, guys, so we're in our first spot here. Um, okay, so looking at the dam, uh, so the dam is up that way. Uh, we're moving down river this way. So this, the reason I chose this spot, you can see ahead there, there's a turn in the river. And as it comes around here, there's the main current. It's moving a little bit more. And you can see that there's a current break as this comes across. It's also kind of a deep line right here. Uh, there's a deep cut. So it looks like it's shallower. It's actually not. It drops down about 35 feet right here and moves all along this ledge right here. Uh, as I went through this area here, I saw a lot of bait fish suspended between about 15 to 25 feet. And I saw a bunch of signatures underneath. It looked like they might be catfish feeding on them underneath here. So I'm going to start here. Oh yeah, one other tidbit. Yeah, it was one of those awesome days where one shot, one kill got me a myriad of threadfin shad. So I'm set on bait for the day. I do have two skipjacks, so I'm gonna start with the shad. All right guys, so for my setup here, so I've got a uh, threadfin shad. I've got a cut threadfin shad on that one. I've got a cut threadfin shad on that one. I've got two shads stacked up on this one, and I've got three on this one. This is my 10 out hook, and then three eight out hooks. I already had a hit on three, so probably in a catfish zone. We'll see what happens here. All right, everybody. So I'm in my fourth spot. Um, every spot I've been to, I've been getting bites, a lot of nibbles, just little dinks. Uh, I'm not really finding sizable fish. So, all right, uh, probably going to be my last spot or maybe this zone will kind of be my last spot. But basically, I'm at a big turn in the river right here. OK, so you come around the turn. There's a creek mouth over there. Uh, water's coming this way or as it was, current is coming this way, flowing this way. So kind of where this turn is, I did really well in this zone uh, last year under almost identical conditions almost exactly a year ago. So I'm seeing if, um, if that'll pay off today, kind of following a little bit of a historical pattern. Did see some fish on the bottom when I passed over with my sonar, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. But uh, yeah, it's probably gonna, gonna wrap it up for today as far as the spots go. We'll see what happens here. Yeah! Yes! We got Bertha, man. Big fish. Big fish, man. He's ripping drag. Man, he came up and snatched that thing. We got a Bubba. We got a Bubba fish here. Yeah, he came up and grabbed that thing, man. It's a ripping drag. This is a good fish. Let's see, let's see what he is. Yeah, buddy. Oh, number two's about to go.
Man, that's a nice fish. This feels like a big blue. My guess is at least 20 pounds. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Man, he's just dragging. <laughs> oh, yeah, there goes number four. Number four is getting hit. I think I found him finally. It's been hours, man. First, this will be the first fish of the day if I can get him. This is a strong fish. Yeah, there he goes, there he goes. Yeah, he's still pulling. Yep, gotta keep him out of that anchor line. This, he's going for it again. Gotta keep him, keep him going the other way. I don't think he's in it. I think I got him out of there. Ah, uh, no, I think he's in the anchor line. Darn it. All right, here we go again. Anchor line issues. Okay, all right, there we go. I got him out of there. He went under it. Jeez, man. This is a good fish. This is gonna be probably, this is at least 20. This might be bigger. This might be even bigger than 20, man. Let's see. Back in the anchor line again. Now he's under it. He's just under the boat. He's just heavy, man. Good heavens. Let's get to this side of the boat here. This is going to be a monster blue, man. There he goes, there he goes. Yeah, this is a strong fish. Give him a little more drag. There he goes. Good heavens, man. This is a big fish. There goes number four. Got fish on that one. That's a smaller fish. Yeah, well, geez. And he's hooked up on that one too. <laughs> oh man, I'm fighting two fish at once here. All right, I'm gonna let him go because he doesn't feel like a real big one. That other one over there, he's hooked up. Let's deal with this guy first. I still haven't even seen this fish yet. He ain't whooped yet, man. I think he's coming up. Oh, man. Give him some drag. Some gains on him, jeez. Man, this is a strong, high energy fish. This fish has got a lot of fight in him. What we got here, he's about to hit. He's about to hit the surface here. Get my first look at him. Saw something, man. 
see what this is. Oh man, that's a huge blue. That's a monster, dude. Whoa! That is a gargantuan blue. Oh, I got him. Barely hooked. Come on, buddy. Oh, I got him. Oh, man, that's a heavy fish. That is a hog. All right, let's take care of this fish. And let's get the other one. So we boated that first fish. Let's get a smaller guy in here. He's still on there. Let's see what this one is. He's smaller. He's definitely not a big fish. Feels like a smaller blue. Yeah, this is a pipsqueak blue. Nice and fat though. Good eater, but I've already got enough of those guys in the freezer at home. I'm gonna let him go. All right, buddy. Come here. All right, later, dude. I think he's gonna be bigger than my ruler. He is a heavy, heavy fish, man. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's about 42, 43 inches. All right, let's get a weight on him. That, my friends, is a true mammoth catfish. 43 inches, 48 and a half pounds, man. That is a big fish. All right, let's let this beast go. All right, guys, let's get him back in the water. All right, brother. Nice. Now, my friends, this is what it's all about. So I've got a little less than an hour till sundown. Uh, so I moved from what I thought was gonna be my last spot. I just kind of cooled off. I'm gonna try, I had kind of a different idea, right? Adjust your plan as you go. Um, so I was down there about 300 meters. So I moved up this way. That spot just kind of went cold and I was just getting dink nibbles over and over again. Something I've kind of noticed. So today, today has been a real tough day of fishing. Um, it's been a lot of dink nibbles, but they've been very sporadic. So what that's telling me is I don't think these fish are schooled up a lot. I think they're isolated or they're moving around in small areas um, because that big blue cat that hit, I think he was passing through. Uh, I think he was on this little highway right here, probably moving up and down into the creek. So what my theory is, is that I'm a little less than an hour till sundown. So I'm thinking this is probably where a lot of these catfish feed is right along the shoreline right here and up into the creek. So I position myself essentially at the creek mouth and throw my baits in there into the influx of where the creek and the main river uh, converge. So yeah, I'm gonna try this uh, until sundown, see if I can pick up a few more. And yeah, we'll we'll end it here. To go down, yep, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, he let it go. Darn it. There we go. That's a good, one. yep, got him. Got him. All right, it's been a while, but yeah, I finally got a third fish here. Let's see if we can boat him. Doesn't feel huge. Feels probably five, 10 pounder. But man, he came up aggressively. Feels like a blue cat. There, he's shaking, shaking his head. you got dude so the name of the game today has been threadfin shad that's all i've used because i had so much of it i was usually like double sometimes tripling up on hooks i uh, cut the tails off let them bleed a little bit yeah what do we got here yeah a little blue small blue eater size still fun still love them come here turd all right all righty nice and pretty fish That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, 
get that hook out of him. Open your mouth, dude. I'll let you go. Okay, I just, there we go. And they're so stubborn, they bite the hook even when it's out of their mouth. Here. All right, Bubba. That's a pretty fish. Go get bigger, homie. The three's about to take off here. It's twitching. There's something there. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, picked him up. A little bit better fish than I would have thought for that little nibble. Might be a flathead. He's nibbling. He's not real big. Eh, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. He's just a fun sized fish though. Probably a good fish to end the day on. Let's see, let's see what we got here. I'll tell you, I'd be surprised if it was a flathead. It's starting to get real cold. They tend to go dormant in the winter, get really hard to find. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's rolling, whatever it is, he's coming in here. Uh, is that I can't tell oh yeah it's a flatty it's a flathead not a big one but a fun size one yep yeah. it's the little guy let's see we are use well if I ate these things that would be a good eater size but not gonna happen enough for flatties come here dude pretty fish all right come here buddy all right let's get him back in the water nice pretty fish probably a couple feet probably 25 maybe 26 inches pretty fish let's get him back all right buddy thanks go get bigger whoa at the buzzer man i was just packing rods up number two got slammed Yeah, buddy. Let's see what we got here. It doesn't feel real big. I think it's probably a blue the way he hit it. Let's see what we got. Better not be a squeaker fish. A little pip squeak. I want to end this on a good note. Oh, he might be decent. He's pulling. Not pulling drag, but he's just he's just cranking away. What you got, homie? You're gonna get whooped. See what you are. Eh, might not be a blue. He's moving real slow. Blues tend to tend to bolt a lot more. And he is kind of doing that like slow drag that flatheads. You'll see what he is here. I said not a huge fish, but definitely a fun size fish. See what we got. It's just packing up. What we got here? Oh, another flathead. Looks like a little bit bigger than the last one. Let's see what we got. Come here, dude. Come here. That's a respectable little flathead. Yeah, buddy. Oh, stop. Knock it off. You're whooped. Alrighty, get that hook out of his mouth. Pretty. Look at his belly, man. He's been in the mud. He's been sitting on the bottom. All right, guys, that's a pretty fish. Let's let him go. Go on, buddy. Go get bigger. All right, guys. The other thing I want to say is just thanks to everybody for watching and supporting this channel. 
each like, each you know, comment, um, each subscriber, you guys give me motivation to keep going. I love this sport. I'm trying to get more people into it. Just you know, make more people aware of the sport of catfishing and just how awesome it can be. I also want to make it accessible to everybody. If you've never done this before, I'm going to be doing more how-to videos, more step-by-step -step basic things. I'll usually focus on a topic um, and then I'll, I'll you know teach on that and then I'll apply it in a fishing scenario and just show you guys how, how that works, where you, where you can start, what are good starting points to, to catfish and getting into this sport. Yeah, so I just want to say to everybody, God bless. Remember, God is good. This is the day the Lord has made. Always stay on mission for him and also Merry Christmas. All right, y'all take care and God bless.